So let's see how we can set up some email alerts so we can receive current awareness content from, uh, from two of our databases. The two databases we're going to look at are Library Search, which is the University of Kent's library search engine, and also Academic Search Complete, which you looked at in, an er in the earlier exercise. So to begin, if we go to the library homepage, and on the left hand navigation bar select Library Search, this allows us to make use of the Advanced Search option just here. So if I click on the link Advanced Search, I can now put in the search, I can put in the terms HE or higher education or the STEM word Universistat, sorry, Universistat. That'll bring back both universities and university. We've used a little asterisk as a truncation symbol there. So if I select that, and what we're going to do is only is put those terms against the subject field. So any reference that has the subject HE or higher education or university will be brought up. So again, if I restrict this to articles, and what we're going to do is add Brexit as an additional term. So if I now hit search, we can see that it's brought back a nice manageable 99 results to do with Brexit and higher education or universities. We can filter this a little bit further. If I go to the subject filter on the right hand sidebar and select more options, I can then just select universities and colleges and higher education just to strip it down as far as I possibly can. So if I now hit continue, we can see that I've got a nice set of manageable results at 24. So if I'm happy with this search, if I go back to the top of the page and now sign in to my University of Kent library account in the sign in with my Kent IT account details link at the top here, if I select that and just enter my University of Kent credentials. and log in. You can now see that I've logged in, that's my name at the top, and the search is still there. Now if I just scroll down a little bit towards the bottom of the page, we have two options here. One that says RSS, which we'll look at a little later on, and the other that says Save Search. So if I select the Save Search link, a little dialog box comes up. So I can give the search a name, and we'll call this HE hyphen Brexit and I can either save this just as a search or I can do a save an alert option. Now because I'm logged in this has brought up my University of Kent email address again I could substitute this for any email address that I want and because I only want to, I only want an email sent out if there are results included if I just select the don't send if no results option and hit save I've now set myself up with an email alert. Now just to just to prove that, if I just close this dialog box and scroll back up towards the link that says my account, click on that. If I go to saved searches, just to, to the left of the page, there is my search HE Brexit with the alert type email all ready to go. So how would I do this with an academic search complete uh, with an academic search complete query? So here I have my search results from an academic search complete search. So all I need to do now is, as we did in the earlier exercise, is to sign in to my EBSCO host account. So if I click here, I'll just refresh that. There. So if I sign in with my account details that I set up in a previous exercise, so I'll put in my username. And my username password.
and log in. So what I can do now I've logged I've logged into my EBSCO host account is where I have this link that says search history if I just click on the little downward arrow and where I have the latest search that I was happy with just make sure that's all okay I can now click up here and hit select that and hit save searches okay so I can now give, so here is my saved search. So if I give this a name, H-E, again, Brexit. And I won't bother giving it a, a description. But what I do need to do is make sure that this is a permanent search. In fact, we'll change that to alert. And we could just go through some serious, so sorry, just go through some options here that we want to say a once a day frequency. Maybe let's change that to once a week. We want no limits in the articles returned. We'll run this for a year. You can always revise that. And the alert options will have us being fairly detailed. And again, we could put in any other re email addresses that we'd like to have our information sent to. So in this case, I'll just put in my email address just to be safe here, which is John Barnes 065 at gmail.com. And I want to have my results in plain text. So if I just now hit save. My alert has now been set up. And any f new information that comes through that's relevant to the search will be sent out to either to either of my, address, either of my email addresses at Kent or at Gmail.